Hi folks, this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. Today we're going to be talking about pruning hydrangeas. Well, it depends on the kind of hydrangea it is, but today we're going to be pruning what some people call the snowball hydrangea, or uh, hydrangea macrophylla. And we're using as a guide this old standard book that I kind of went to school with on years ago. It may not be in print, I'm pretty sure it's not, but it's a uh, Pruning by Christopher Brickle. You can find that on Amazon on the um, out of print section. I ordered it and what we're looking at today is pruning deciduous shrubs and in particular right here, this little box right here, we're going to be pruning the flower heads off of our nice beautiful macrophylla hydrangea here which has beautiful blossoms. It comes out about mid summer and these things come out and they flush start off white and then start turning blue and they persist as you can see this is we are now in March it's spring and this is an ideal time to come in and start topping these off because they're growing on whoops they're growing on the um, current year's wood so this this growth here was last year's growth and then they come up and they the flowers pop up on top of the current year's growth. So this is the time to be pruning right now. I know some gardeners get out ahead of themselves and they want to go ahead and cut back everything right after these bloom, but that's not the recommendation here. We're looking at um, you know late March into mid-April, at least in our zone 7A in North Carolina. So let me begin a little bit here. And if I could just say something, um these are looking a little scruffy, but they are often um, pruned and used in dried floral arrangements or as accents in um, cut flower arrangements. Exactly, and we can actually save these and bring them indoors and put them in our own cut flower arrangements. Yes. Now this thing just kind of popped right off, but what you should do is you come and you're looking for a really strong bud on down the stem from the flower head. and. What I'm seeing here, this, this bud here is okay. This one's stronger, so I'm going to cut right here at a slight angle. And before you do, how do you know it's stronger? Well, it's a little bit bigger. Okay. You see the size? Maybe you can't tell. No, not, not really seeing it through the camera. Okay. okay. Well, just look for something that just is a little bit more vigorous looking. Okay. And I'm going to cut about a quarter inch above the node right here at a slight angle. All right. Down here, another thing you do, once you start clipping these guys, you we'll go ahead and clip a few. And what I'm trying to do is get the blade, this is a cutting blade here, nice pair of, of, uh, of pruners here. These are Felco number twos. I've had this for like 35 years now. The blades are replaceable and it's just a wonderful tool. But when you go to cut something like this, angle your blade this is the actual the cutting, and this is sort of like the receiving end. It's like a pair of scissors in a way. And I want this blade up tight on this side, closest to the bud, because that just gets you in a little bit tighter than going in with this wide bit down there at the bottom, all right? The next thing that we should be doing is looking for any weak stems or any small skinny stems down here, at, like at the bottom. We have some weak little areas right in here, see? And although you have some growth down... No, can you point to it? Yeah, the, this whole thing okay, right in here. Okay. And uh, although you have a little bit of growth here, it's going to do much at this level. So I'm just going to go down here and get in tight and cut it. And we hear, here's one that's not much life at all to it. We'll cut it. And we'll cut this one. And here's one coming up from the bottom. We don't really need that. We have all these guys in here. Here's another skinny one we want to cut out. Now, if you have any really old stems that are um, several years old, you can cut those out too, just, uh, just to clean the plant up a bit. You don't have to go very radical and clip everything down. This stage, all the plant really thrives on is just tender care and cutting back these um, these flower heads during the early springtime okay mm -hmm. and that's what we're about and just just proceed on along here well that's a uh, that's our little little lesson on how to prune your 
macrophyllum hydrangea, and this can apply to um, the climbing hydrangea, the hydrangea petiolaris as well. Anywhere you see where this is growing, obviously at the very tip of what was last year's growth, allows you to come in this time of year and prune these just so. Okay. So, any questions you might have, send them to us on our Facebook page. Or, you can, no, post them in the comments on YouTube as well. You can post them on the comments on YouTube, plus you can sign up and subscribe down there in the lower right-hand corner, I believe. You just click on that, subscribe. If you want some alerts from GardensAll.com, go up to that little bell and click on that alert, and we'll send you the most recent item that's come out on our YouTube. Also, if you have any of your own tips on pruning hydrangeas, please feel free to put those in the comments as well. Absolutely. We'd love to, love to hear from you guys. So this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. Enjoy your garden. Thank you. Bye. So long.